Welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show. We are so delighted to have you watching and joining us today. We got a special guest going to be with us. We're super excited to have uh, this individual that's going to come and to share with us. Why are you laughing at me today? Because you almost gave it away. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to hold. I'm going to. I'm going to hold it here hold just for it a moment. In. And not give it all away. But I tell you what I do want to give away. Okay. I want to give away Jesus today. Amen. How about that? Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody needs That's Jesus. Right. Everybody needs a little more Jesus. Just a little bit. That's just a little more <laughs> Jesus. That's great. Hey, listen, we are so grateful and thankful we hear from many of you each and every week. Quit laughing at me. So <laughs> grateful and thankful that many of you write each and every week to the Josh and Ashley Show. Let us know that you're watching and enjoying it. We so appreciate that. How can they do that? Find more information, et cetera, et cetera. You tell all that good Yeah, stuff. you you can visit us on the web. It's www.joshandashleyfranks.com. Spell it out. And that's kind of the hub for everything else. So if you want to find any link to anything else, you can find it there on our website, joshandashleyfranks.com. Our itinerary is yep. there. Our product is there. Our church information mm -hmm. is there. Our mailing address is there. Our email. And then you can click to our social media Correct. sites from there. Sign up for our email list. We mm -hmm. send out every single week. And, and just uh, a disclaimer on the email list, I do not proofread those before he sends them. So. Well, I don't, know, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think they're pretty <laughs> good written. Here we go. All right, he is from we Tennessee. Be we better sing but because we're moving in the wrong direction yeah. here. We need Jesus Amen. to move in the right direction. <laughs> oh, we're having fun today. I hope you are as well. Let's see. Jesus is moving. He's moving in this place. The King of all glory. It's passing your way. Just reach out and touch him. You'll never be the same. Jesus is moving. He's moving in this place. We've come into his presence with weary hearts and minds. We all have this in common. We're fighting for refuge. His arms are reaching out. If your body needs healing, there's a healer in the house. Jesus is moving. He's moving in this place. The King of all glory is passing your Welcome you back to the Josh and Ashley show. Mm -hmm. Ashley is to my left. How are we doing today, Ashley? I'm, I'm glad you clarified that. I was afraid that people might be confused on which one was Josh <laughs> and which one was Ashley. 
<laughs> well, you never know in this generation we're in, ladies you and never gentlemen. Know. We better move on. We're going to get in trouble on this show today. I got a feeling. But we're glad to have you, and we have a very special guest that's with us today. And uh, this gentleman has uh, a wonderful resume mm -hmm. and a story to tell and a song to sing. And he's going to do that for us today. Welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show, Mr. Shannon Smith. Shannon, welcome. Thank you, guys. We're glad to have yeah. you. Honored today. to be here. Man, we've been looking forward to this. Uh, you started as a soloist in 2000, is that right? right? Mm -hmm. And then you joined a classic group of gospel music, right. the Imperials. Yes. How long were you there? Six years. Six years. And uh, after that, uh, you then joined another group, right? Not immediately, but yes. Shortly after that. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, traveled with them for a good number of 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. And now you've circled back around in life and you've pursued another solo career. Is That's that right. right? That's right. And here you are today. And all is well, right? I've hit the big time. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. And you got an amazing story. Uh, just kind of give us a little rundown of, um, of your beginnings. Wow, how far back do you want From to go? From birth. Yeah. <laughs> I do have an amazing uh, testimony of God's goodness when yeah. I was, uh, before I can remember, um, I was uh, two months early. Um, I had the same disease that took the life of President Kennedy's baby in 1962. Wow. Um, and, and so I was born in 1967 and I had highline membrane. Uh, my mother didn't know any of that. She just knew that they had me in another room. She was in the recovery room and they, uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to her and said, they're going to come tell you your baby's not going to live. Wow. And, uh, but he said to her, if you'll trust me, mm. if you'll declare my word over him, not only will he live, but he will minister to people all over the earth. Wow. And so she took that word. And sure enough, the doctor came in and said, ma'am, don't plan to take this baby home. And she said, you're too late. <laughs> she said, I've already had that conversation and, wow. and I'm taking wow. him home. And wow. they said, well, we're giving him about a 10% chance to live. There's no cure for what he has. Oh, and uh, so uh, she said, well, uh, I'm taking him home. They said, well, it'll be a power much higher than us. And she said, I know him. Amen. We're, we're Amen. in good shape. Yeah. And uh, spent the first 19 days of my life in the hospital. Wow. God healed me. Yes. They took me straight out of the hospital, took me to church. <laughs> yes. Before we even went home. Wow. And, uh, and the rest, I guess, is history. He healed me so good. I've really almost never been sick since. Amazing. Never spent Amazing. a night in the hospital. Wow. And just blessed. That, that is God. That yeah. is, that's. It is. That's and you know, uh, the highline membrane is, a, uh, as I understand it, is a, a, a lung disease. And of course, preemie babies, I was born two months early, preemie babies, the lungs have not fully developed. Wow. But as you know, yeah. God's given me a pretty good set of lungs. I think you've got a pretty good set of lungs. <laughs> yes, sir. There's no Amen. doubt about that. Yeah. And, and what got you into uh, singing? I mean, wow. where, where did you get started there? Well, you know, my parents traveled in ministry, uh, itinerant ministry. Uh, they, uh, back then, they called it evangelistic work. Yes, yes. They went, sang in revival meetings and camp meetings and things like that. I actually have a recording uh, on their resume from way back in the 60s, that's, early 60s. That's incredible. And um, so I just grew up with it kind of in my blood. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh, you know, different groups uh, uh, would come into our church, and my dad was a pastor. Uh -huh. They would come in and sing, and I just, it touched my heart, even yeah. as a young child. Yeah. And I remember I was, couldn't have been more than five or six years old. Um, a group came in, and, and there was a song that a young man sang, uh, he played the piano and sang, and uh, it was the song, gospel song, After All. Yes. You might know it. Yes. After all, this life is over yes. and our burdens have mm -hmm. been lifted. Yeah. And somehow I fell in love with that song. Wow. I, t I went home and memorized it, and uh, I sang it at church. I, I think I was five years old or something like that. I sang that? my first solo. So I always loved to sing. Through the years, I tried a variety of instruments. Nothing ever stu stuck. And then my mother uh, signed me up to take voice lessons when I was 14 years old. Uh -huh. And I was hooked immediately. Wow. So the, the teacher assigned me Italian songs and German, all that stuff. And I went home and memorized my first Italian song on the first day. <laughs> and I uh, just absolutely uh, just loved it. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and so, I, I, you know, and, and added to that, and, and probably more importantly, 
I always knew I had a calling to ministry. Right, right. And so... It's more than just singing. Well, for me it is. Yeah. You know, there yeah. uh, some, some singers are just... I don't mean this in, in any negative way at all. Some singers are artists, yeah. and that's their main thing, and that's uh -huh. their ministry. But mm -hmm. they don't they don't see themselves as having a ministry calling per se, right. sure. and that's fine. Sure, but, you know, not everybody uh, carpenters don't have to build a church building to right. you know to serve right. God right? exactly. And and so it's fine with me, but for me, God just put His call on my life yeah. to minister to people, yeah. and so I love to share the word. I love to just that's great. Uh, just everything I do, I think, is, yeah. is hopefully is a ministry to him and to people. Has, has music, is that all you've ever done? I mean, being in the music and in the ministry? No, I, I pastored a church for a while. So you have, you're a licensed minister, huh? Uh, ordained, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yep. <laughs> How about and, that? And in fact, uh, these days, this is something a little bit different in this iteration of my solo ministry. I, I'm doing almost as much preaching as singing these days. Well, good so, for you. That's awesome. Um, uh, in fact, this uh, fall I have my first revival book where I'm speaking and singing. Um, I'm going to be doing a pastor's conference or, or I, well, luncheon, I guess. Yeah. In, in uh, Oklahoma, they called and said, we want you to be our keynote speaker. And I said, you know, I'm a singer, right? <laughs> <laughs> they said, well, we hear you speak pretty well, too. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm going to be singing and speaking for, for that, too. Well, that's great. I'm known as a singer, and, and that's great. I, my sure. calling, the calling God gave me is to sing his praise to the ends of the earth. Amen. So I know I'm a singer and, and I want to do that. And I don't ever want anything to derail that. Right. That is my first calling. Right. right. But, you know, probably about 20 years ago, Josh, the Lord gave me, he, he convicted me, first of all. Uh, I was reading Proverbs chapter 2. And it says there, if you will seek my word... Mm as you would for hidden treasure. Yeah. And then he lists all these wonderful benefits that will come into your life. Wow. And the Lord said to me, Shannon, if you knew there was a treasure in your backyard, if you knew there was oil, or if you knew there was silver or gold, yeah. Yeah. you'd spare no expense. Mm. You'd go into debt if you had to, because yeah. you'd know it would be right. a payoff right. coming. Right. And he said, why don't you treat my word that way? And so I just fell in love with the Word of God. That's incredible. And I've not gotten over it for That's 20 incredible. years. And so it's just my, <laughs> I was, I work out in my garage. Uh -huh. And I was working out in my garage. My son-in-law walked through and I was listening to a, a preacher instead of, some jam and music. <laughs> <laughs> and I was listening to a preacher, and my son in law said, So that's your jam. I said, That's my jam. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Jesus. Well, is whether my you're jam. preaching or whether you're singing, you're uplifting the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ, and that's what we are called to do. That's why we're here today. Well, you know what? You got an incredible story, and there's much more to share, but we're ready for you to sing. How about that? Fantastic. Are you ready to do it? Always. Pick up a microphone and give Shannon Smith another great big welcome. My soul in the middle of my jaded heart Colder than a stone waking up all alone Like a prisoner I was in the dark Right out of the gray like a shock wave Your love was breaking through to me Melt in every wall down to nothing at all A man that only you can see Through your love and I Saving my life Free Your oh, sweet love Has come to rescue me Free All oh, these chains Have fallen to my feet And I am free hey. Right Riding up toward the morning sun Laughing off the tears of a hundred years Never dreaming that this day would come Now I've been read I raise my hands and scream Free, oh 
Death gives way to 
Because he lives, uh, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. What a great classic, Bill and Gloria Gaither. Thank you, Shannon, for coming and being with us today. If you want to learn more information about Shannon, you can do so at www.officialshannonsmith.com. So check him out. Go to his website. Find his product. Order it. Uh, find his itinerary and come and visit with him. You got one more song for us today? I do. I do. What song are you going to sing? This is a song called Through. Okay. I just wrote it with uh, some friends of mine in Wonderful. Nashville. Uh, in fact, this is a, a single okay. just released. Awesome. And uh, to all the streaming platforms, social media, they all can that. Find those, it. Yeah, you can find it's it. It's called Through. Yeah. Shannon Smith. Powerful song. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for watching the Josh Nashville Show. Bless us with the song. Appreciate you. Every battle, every storm. 